Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another easy 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in Green Soldiers Heroes. Uh, now this was developed and published by Derek DF, it's available for just £4.19 slash $4.99 and is once again another easy completion in coming in in around sort of 10 to 15 minutes but this is a fun one so basically this is kind of like a sort of on rails type shooter where all we have to do is effectively aim our gun and press the right trigger to shoot kill some enemies explode some stuff and uh, yeah until we do all seven missions now as for achievements as well you will have to do all seven missions uh, to get um to get achievements for completing each one we also need to destroy 10 explosive barrels we need to destroy one vehicle, which I believe is at the sort of end on mission three. And for a real tricky one, we've actually got to start the game and watch the opening cutscene. Now, the opening cutscene cannot be skipped, and it is quite long, so uh, yeah, that, that'll take a little bit of sleepy sleeps to get through. But anyway, we will begin. We are going to let's do it right now. Turn the music on or off, completely up to you, but we're going to go arcade level one. Let's do this. So, um... You've, like I said, you've got to watch this opening cutscene. So the way that this game plays, you can't move. So when you press the right trigger, you will come out of hiding and shoot at people. When you take your finger off the right trigger, you will then go back into hiding. So, in, and in terms of the enemy's bullets and stuff, they are quite slow. So you do get ample time and a lot of opportunity in order to stop shooting and then only pop up, obviously, when you're not being shot at. You've also got a little health bar in the top left hand corner, so always keep an eye on that. So you basically have to get through each mission without dying, which is, is easy. It is very easy, but I'll show you what I mean now. So we get the first achievement there, War Heroes. So again, you can press the A button to shoot left, right trigger, right trigger, but obviously the moving aiming is with the left stick. So you can just hold, uh, hold down the right trigger. Like I said, we're going to explode um, one of the red barrels first. Always try and aim for the heads. Now, sometimes, uh, so yeah, like I said, in each level, always have a look for the explosive barrels. Sometimes you have to sort of aim up above their head in order to hit their head, weirdly enough. But again, so this is this is what I mean. So pressing the right trigger will get you firing. As soon as you see them start shooting, let go of the right trigger and you'll go back into hiding. Um, so these first levels are genuinely quite easy enough. Even if their health bar is gone, apparently you've got to shoot the douchebags a couple more times. So, you know, just be aware of that one. Shoot the guy at the top there. And we will change scene. Scene change! Now, there's going to be um, another explosive red barrel here. So just make sure that you get that red barrel. Again, if you shoot a red barrel quickly enough, it may take out a couple of enemies as well. Uh, but otherwise, kill these three enemies and on to the next one. Alright, so mate, already on to mission three. Now there's going to be a rocket launcher guy appearing soon. Not quite yet, but soon. So um, there's two explosive red barrels if you want to get them in here. Um, otherwise, there we go. So I'll go for the second one. Again, always keep looking at the exclamation mark above the enemy's heads. That's obviously when they let you know they're going to shoot. That would make war a lot easier, wouldn't it? If everyone had an exclamation mark above their head. I'm going to shoot. Okay, well, I'll just shoot you first then. So, into this area then. So, anytime you see a guy with a rocket launcher, again, it's going to be in Mission 4, so don't worry about that. But you need to be aiming for him first, because his rockets, well, believe it or not, they hurt a lot more than bullets. So, kill these guys. And now, I did get the warrior achievement uh, right there. And that is for killing so many enemies. So, that one's all good. Again, you will get that. Sorry, I forgot to mention that first. But yeah, I think it's 20 enemies you got to kill before you get that achievement, which pretty much comes naturally. So uh, with the last one, make sure to uh, just keep firing at the car. That will explode, and then that will get you the armored achievement. That's the only. Uh, this is the only level where you can get that. Uh, uh, we can get this achievement. So you can see what I mean by the, by the bullet. Sometimes you got to aim quite high up. Other times you got to aim quite low down. So it's. This is a fun game. 
genuinely, I know it's in another easy one and people have their gripes with, with easy games, but this is actually quite the fun game. So I do hope they come out with some more levels in the future. But anyway, first go with the rocket launcher. Top left hand corner. So just make sure. Now every time you see one coming towards you, it will explode by you and it will take off a little bit of health. But that's better than getting you rammed with a rocket down your gob. Old rocket gob. Because, uh, well, you know, that'd hurt, man. So after this one is done. Now I got the explosive mission now because I actually died the first time going through this level. So... Um, that won't unlock for you just yet, unless you've died a couple of times and you've exploded more barrels. Here's another barrel, though. And then we're just going to shoot these dudes. So when we come on to the next scene here, in the top right-hand corner where it's the sheriff sign is, make sure to kill the rocket dude first, or rocket knob. Or Rocket Gob, even. And um, once he's done, again, if you need some more explosive barrels, there's another one here. Otherwise, shoot the enemies and enjoy. In fact, there's two you can actually uh, aim for if you need them. So already just two left to go, or three actually, including this one. So again, um, it's just a case there's a guy in um, in the windmill as well, the broken windmill. So if you want to get him first, but this one you're gonna have to be a little bit more sort of reserved. You can't just go all out flying bullets because if you get hit with enough, you're obviously gonna die a pretty big death. So uh, anytime that you see them going to shoot, just uh, keep popping up now and again. Pop, 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 popity ping. See, I am poppity ping. Right, there's an explosive barrel uh, straight in front of us. So if you want that one, you can grab that. Otherwise, just kill the two enemies. Music's great as well on this. Really, uh, really dramatic. Really sends in the intensity. Two rocket guys this time. So, just aim straight for the rocket guys, ignoring everyone else. And if you do it quick enough, then you won't get a rocket in the, uh, in the old... Uh, so now on to the penultimate mission, mission six. Again, three red, four red barrels actually here if you need it. Kill the rocket guy first though on the top right hand corner of the bridge. And I would kill the guy who was up there with him. And then just literally explode some barrels. And then these are going to go pow, pow But apparently no one gets hurt. So shoot the guys. And once these guys are shot, there's going to be some more poofers. Two rocket guys up on the bridge on top. So again, just aim specifically for the rocket launcher dudes. Uh, if you need the explosive barrels, get them. Otherwise, the four on the ground should be easy, cheesy balls enough. Right, so for the final mission then, this one is uh, one where you can't actually dodge and duck. You've literally just got to shoot all the enemies as quickly as you can. It seems difficult, but um, if you just keep aiming, obviously just keep aiming for sort of one at a time until they die. Um, sometimes you get a couple of rocket guys, um, I think. But there are some more enemies which do have powerful guns as well, but... Um, one thing I should say is keep shooting until they're dead, especially with the enemies a little bit later on. They seem to possess this uncanny ability to have no health bar left and still need another four or five shots to take down. So just be aware of that. That mashed, mashed me up the first time. Otherwise, we're just doing this for another 30 seconds or so.
And of course, by another 30 seconds or so earlier, I said I actually meant another two minutes. So uh, yeah, my bad for that one. But anyway, that is <laughs> the mission complete. That is all done. So there we go then, guys and gals. It's another easy 1,000 added to your bank account. 11 out of 11. <laughs> your bank account, I wish you could get 1,000 in your bank account that easy. But thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the game. I hope the guide helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as always. Big shout out to all my Patreon supporters and YouTube members, and I'll see you in the next one. Miglove!